Hello everyone and welcome to the Worldwide Center of Math video series on how to use your TI-84 graphing calculator. So in this video I am going to show you some of my favorite features of the TI-84 graphing calculator. Some of them are kind of hard to find, some of them are easy to find but you might not know what they do. So the first one I'm going to show you is a sort of hidden one that you have to find in the catalog. To get to the catalog we hit the second key and above the zero you see this word blue for catalog. Uh, the thing we're looking for is under, it's alphabetical, so the thing we're looking for is under D. Uh, you can kind of shortcut your way there if you see the green letters above your keys here. If we go over to the X inverse button you see the green letter D, so let's click that and it'll jump automatically down to uh, D. What we're looking for is this DBD function. Uh, that stands for days between dates. So if we hit enter, what this is going to do when we input the information is it's going to calculate the number of days that have occurred between two dates. It is limited because of the way it is inputted between the years 1950 to the year 2049. But this could, I mean, those are the most of the dates you probably want to know anyway. So the way you enter it is a little odd. You have to, you start with the two-digit month. So let's say 01 for January. Then you hit the decimal point, And then you hit the day you want. So let's say uh, the fifth, so 05. And then you just type in the two-digit year. So let's say of the year 1995. And then you hit comma and you choose again this same format so let's say between 0 2 for February 6 0 6 of 97 and then close your parenthesis and hit enter and it calculates the number of days between those two dates 763 uh, the next thing I will show you, next few things I will show you are under the apps menu. That's that big button next to the math key. It says apps. So if we click apps, it brings up a bunch of applications, most of which have been pre-installed. Uh, if any of the apps I mention don't happen to be on your calculator, though I think they all should be, you can download them from TI just by plugging your calculator into your computer. It's not too hard. But nonetheless, the first one I will show you, if we scroll down here, is number five, Area Form. One, what that will do is if we click it, it says Area Formulas. Sounds interesting. We hit Enter again, Enter again, and then it has a few modes. Number two is an Area Quiz, so if you were studying your Area Formulas, it would quiz you on them. Number one, though, is your Definitions and Formulas, so if we hit Enter again, you'll see uh, the list of the six formulas for shapes that the calculator has already stored for you. So let's just click one, let's say trapezoid. I always forget that one. And then you'll notice as it comes up on the screen, it kind of says a trapezoid is a quadrilateral with only two sides parallel. And then, so it defines the shape, and then you see these three things at the bottom here, menu, area, example. They correspond to the buttons up at the top so if we hit area, which is the second one, so it's the window key. So I want to know the air, how to find the area of this shape. I hit it, and it says H equals height, base 1, base 2, and then the area formula. Pretty useful uh, application on your calculator. So if we go back to menu, menu, and then we have to go down to number 3 and quit the application. So then we'll go back to apps again, and this time... I will show you, um, well, let's just scroll down. It, I'm going to show you that there is a science, there are a few science applications. I'm going to show you my personal favorite. If we keep scrolling, it's under P. Uh, there are different languages, tons of applications pre-installed. Periodic. You may have already guessed it. It has a periodic table. And it has a lot more than you think would probably think. Your average periodic table gives you a few bits of information, the atomic number, maybe the valence electrons, but if we hit enter, 
on any of these elements, it gives us a ton of information. Atomic number, height, neutrons, protons, valence electrons, keep scrolling, radius, electronegativity, density, melting point, boiling point, oxidation states, state, and when it was discovered. So a whole bunch of information on all the elements that are, have been currently discovered, or at least as updated as the application is. So that is a very useful function if you happen to be taking a science class. So if we just hit quit, there was a quit button there. Uh, we go back to apps again. I'm going to show you one last one. Uh, again, it's going to be under P. This one is a probability simulator. So keep scrolling. All right, so prob sim. Stands for probability simulator. We hit enter. Press any key. And you'll see that there are six options. Toss coins, roll dice, you know, draw cards. And what this does is it essentially performs these uh, events over and over again without you know, physically rolling the dice. So you can see you can collect data without physically performing these actions. So let's choose roll dice and see what it does. So then we have a few options, escape, which is to leave roll, set, data, table. So let's just hit roll, which is the window key corresponds to. And look, it even shows a little animation of a dice rolling. It rolls a six, and it records the data. And now you see it says plus one, plus 10, plus 50. And what that does is it rolls it that many more times. So let's say plus 50. And we'll get a, it'll kind of just go through and roll dice a bunch of times and tell you which ones came up. It doesn't show you numerically what came up, how many, exactly how many times, but you get the idea of that over time you would expect an even number of, an equal number of ones, twos, threes, fours, and such to come up. So those are just some of the fun, we just hit escape, uh, yes, clear, and quit. Yes, I'm sure I want to quit. So those are just some of the fun features on your TI-84 calculator. Thanks for watching. Calculator. For more videos in this series, or for more general mathematics videos, you can subscribe to our YouTube channel by clicking here, or visit our website at centerofmath.org by clicking here.